great people. Thank you, great Biafrans. As you can see the article that I just uh, write on top of this, my video today, uh, is about Biafran security network. That is what I want to talk about today. And uh, I think maybe today I can take maybe one or two calls because people were saying that I don't allow people to call. And the reason why I don't allow people to call is because if I pasted my number here and I want you people where you will call, don't begin to praise me. No, I don't want anybody to praise me. You go straight to the point what you want to talk. Uh, but before I will proceed, let me also share this video to some platform that is available to me so that our people can join me so that we can talk about all this. We are in the way forward. We are discussing about the security network that the leader of indigenous people of Bia from Mazin Namdekano brought out. And as you people can see what I just write on top of the article, I said, this is way forward. <clears throat> This security network is the way forward of the whole eastern region of Biafra. That is why I am, I am here today to talk about, because a lot of people are saying that uh, we are not with the, with the government, with the, I mean, with the, uh, our elites. It doesn't matter if we are with them or we are not with them. My people just give me some just minute. Let me just finish before because I don't want some things to begin to disturb me. So that I will tell you people what I have to tell my people and some of us that are gullible, some of us that their senses is not working, I will open your sense for you to know or for you to learn what it is. Because some of our people, they don't understand. Some of our people, they don't understand. And I have a lot of video today to show my people. I have videos so that some of some people that are doubting what we are doing with this video that i'm going to show you my people believe in me any thomas that you see that begin to tell you that what we ipob mazin namikano is doing is wrong believe in me that person needs brain reset after i will show my people this video i know that a lot of people have saw the video but you know as we always said that everything we are doing is being recorded. Everything that we are doing is being recorded. Because some of people think that we are coming here just to be like Nigerian people. Or some people are thinking that we want to have the same mentality with the Nigerian people. No, we don't want to have the same mentality with them. Our way of life has to be different because that is what we are preaching to our people so that our life will be different. We can never be like Nigerian people. That is what we are preaching to our people. And uh, I will be done in just a minute. In a minute now, I will be done. In a minute, then I will just go straight to my point. Today, I don't have to play any music. I don't have to begin to beg Facebook to, not, to allow me. I don't need all those things. That means that I will be, from today on, maybe I will not be playing music anymore. I will go straight to my point. Yes, my people. Welcome you, my people. I welcome every one of you. And uh, as, I'm, as you are looking to this video right now, to this broadcast, I want you also to welcome your friends, your families, anybody that is around you, invite him to come because we will talk about a lot of things. And first and foremost, I always tell people that uh, there is a nation called Biafra. You know, that people should stop thinking that what we are doing is not right. We are doing right in and we are on the track to restore our motherland Biafra. There is no two ways about it. And we must keep on preaching this gospel of redemption. A lot of people are saying that it's good to have a security outfit. It's good to have our own. But because that we are not aligned with the uh, with the elites of uh, Biafra land or the elite of the Igbos, people are saying that what we are doing is not right. 
But listen, my people. Omoteko have their own. And people say that uh, Fulani, they have their own. And most of people, they don't want to call their name. But we call them by their names. Fulani Alamajiri, they have what they call Meyati Allah. And the Meyati Allah is the fourth most deadly terrorist in the world. Yes, in Nigeria, they may not prescribe them because of the way Nigeria reason. Nigeria has no sense of thinking. Nigeria no, has no human feeling. That is why today they never tag Meati Allah as a terrorist group. And as I'm speaking to you, my people, today, when you go some part of uh, Eastern region today, like Dave Umani, he have a terrorist group in his cabinet. As I'm talking to you today, uh, small Hitler, he have Fulani into his cabinet. That's to show you that our people are not, they, they don't have that sense of reasoning. And that is the reason why they can never come together and build or form something that will secure our land. And a lot of people were asking, why shouldn't we go to the governors or the elites or the uh, elderly statement to talk to them so that we can come together? We have been saying this every day. We did not start this campaign today because, you know, a lot of people don't know how this thing works. Some people just joined the struggle today. Some people just joined last year, two months ago. And when they begin to see how things go, they, they will be thinking that we are not, we never talk to these people. The leader of indigenous people of Biafra Mazen Nam, they cannot have met with John Nyangud. He have met with all these so-called Igbo governors. Let me put it in that five states. He have met all of them. He have discussed with all of these people. But guess what? They are not aligned with us. And I saw a lot of people, they have been making a video about difference between ESN and Omoteku and Meati Allah. Let me tell you one thing, my people. You see all this security network they are the same forget the way they operate some people are saying that omoteku that the the governors in yoruba land they are together with omoteku yes we know 100 percent that meati allah they have already been there for years killing abducting people doing all manners of evil so the government and we also know that is not a rumor or it's not a propaganda. We have saw Erufai, which is the, the, the forefront of this Mayati Allah. I keep on telling people, Erufai have come out on national television and told us that we paid them. We paid Mayati Allah. We paid bandits. We paid Boko Haram to continue killings. You know, they will tell you that they are paying these people to stop them killing. No, when you are funding terrorist people, people that are killing people, and you are paying them money, do you think they will stop? You are encouraging them to keep on killing. Every fight told us they pay them so that they will keep on killing. That is why today nothing has been solved in that contraption called Damini Buzu, Nigeria. And nothing can ever solved. Believe me, my people, I want you to share this video. I have uh, some video that I just want to use to back up this, my broadcast today. For those of our people that always doubt what we are doing or doubting Eastern Region Security Network, they are doubting it. But I want to tell you people that when Omoteku was formed, when Omoteku was formed, don't think that is the governors that supported it to be formed yes the governors they they partake on it but i am telling you is the citizens the yoruba odudua they stand the population of yoruba odudua they stand to say that we want that not only the governors how many they are they are only five people or seven people i don't know how many state they have in odudua land I gave him a guess, it may be up to, I think, five or six, something like that. There are only five or six people. But the citizens of Odudua Yoruba stand and say that we are supporting them. That shows that that is why we are saying in Nigeria that you see, 
you you know most of our people think that those people that they are in government today that we are serving them this is the mindset of a lot of black africans they don't know that we those people are the people that are serving us but the way african look the way the mentality of african people they always thought that these people we are serving them we voted them in we give them power to begin to serve us but as things goes today we are serving them so in omotekun there is no different from omotekun and biafran security network there is no different because the people of biafra stood up and said that we are supporting mazen namdekano the majority carries the votes that is what we are talking about how many people did how many people supported mazen namdekano there are millions people are joining the network today because they want to guide their land their properties that is why they are joining it they never pay them they didn't do any they just voluntarily put themselves in that position to come and fight for their land Biafra. and my people that's something i also want to say here we need to help our volunteers we need to support them support them financial support them spiritual support them physical these people need to eat these people need the man okay if you know how you can support them you have to do it if you can support them with money do it if you can buy ammunition for them do it if you can supply them whatever you can do if you can supply them all the gadget of network to telephone to get so that they can be able to coordinate themselves do it we have a lot of millionaires and billionaires in Iboland. This is the time that you people should come and help these people and join them together so that we can secure our land. So that we can build our land. So that we can change the caliphate away from our land. Do you people understand what I'm saying? They have accounts. There's an account out there. Nobody tell you to go and pay money to Germany people. Nobody tell you to go and begin to pay IPOB. They have their account. Go and help them. Help them. Help them. Don't begin there and begin to gossip. Now we have saw. Now we have seen with our eyes what Mazen Namdekan are planning. Now you can help them. Help them. Don't be useless. Help them. 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 Help they need something to protect ourselves. They need something to protect our our villages, our 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 bushes, our farms, our mothers that, that 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 are going to farm. They need something to protect them, not mouth. So we need to support them. And when I'm saying support, my people, we have to tell ourselves the truth. If only it's only the people that don't want to tell you what is going on will keep on lying to you. India need there is something. They need something so that they can be able to safeguard our land, so that they can be able to protect. Let me back to my what I'm saying. Why people are saying the network is a, is something that our governors did not support. They some people are saying that it's against Nigeria. Nigeria that we know that Nigeria is already failed state. All these things they are in northern part of Nigeria. Meati Allah is there killing people, adopting people every single day. Different versions of Boko Haram, different version of terrorism is in northern part of Nigeria. There are more than seven now. There are more than seven. They are more than seven. They are funding them, paying them, giving them money. And when it comes to our own, now there is there, you will see the sense of, especially the sense of evil people. You will see the sense of evil people. Upon say they say they are rich people. This is the time you can come out and support these people. Support them. Go and use that your money and buy some pistol. Go and use that your money to buy. If you send a two AK for seven, you could buy. Buy and give them. We have a lot, a lot of rich people in that contraption that we are fighting to to save them, to save their properties in that contraption called Damini Buzu Nigeria. You people don't need to be hiding. You don't need to hide. 
and anybody that condemning this security network is just a fool. That person has no thinking at all and he can never think. Our own is our own. Now our own we won't get. As everybody in that contraption have their own, we need to have our own. Is it so is it bad thing for us to have our own? Get our people just raising for once. This thing we are doing is something that is going to help us to chase away the caliphate away from our land. And that is exactly what we're doing. Omoteku came out and the citizens of Odudua supported Omoteku. That is why they are where they are today. And we, the Biafans, Mazin Nambe Kano IPOB, have bring out something that is going to protect our villages, our farms, our neighborhood, any places. What we need to do is to support them. Support them with ego, give them money, pay them. Don't be stupid. Let us say, let's tell us ourselves the truth. Let's tell us ourselves the truth. Give them something, support them, help them, finance, give them, give them. Don't, don't just lay back and be just be watching as a if carbon airway as a video. You people see it as a video. No. Support. That some people are into this struggle for years, doing something. Some of our some of our people are outside like a, a, a watchman just looking a video. They call it a, 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 a movie. This is not a movie. This is a reality, my people. Share the video, it doesn't matter. As time goes on, people will listen to it. Before we finish the video, we will get enough shares. It will never be within three days, it will never be no lesser than 700 shares. We know this is how it is. And we must continue. Because what I'm about to show my people today is for you people to understand that Nigeria have failed woefully. Nigeria have failed. Nigeria is a broken place that there is no way we can fix it. You know there is some place that will be broken, you can be able to fix it. But the way Nigeria has been broken, there is no two way that we can never fix it. Nigeria has been scattered. There is no need of crying when the dice is off. You have played the dice. It's like when you are playing a game, you are playing a, uh, what they call it, uh, gambling with a dice. Now you have rolled your dice and your dice come one one. You begin to cry. You don't have to cry because you have already rolled the dice. You have already played the dice. You have already lose. So there's no need of crying. We have been out. We are out. We are out. There's no two ways about it. And no going back on this quest of self-determination. Biafra we must restore in our time. Whether they believe it or not. We keep on urging our governors. We keep on pleading to them. But small times, some people will come out and say that we are, we are doing anything, we are, everything we are doing, we are doing it alone. We don't include them. I am still here now urging them to support. Pay them. They, they have their own account there. Pay them. There are some people coming in every day, joining the struggle, joining to guide our land Biafra. Support them, give them whatever they want. And for those that are saying that what we are doing, because we are, some people are saying that we are, the they, yes is good. Like what I heard from, uh, from uh, BBC in the ocean and the island. One or one person was saying that it's against the government. That it was against the Nigerian uh, constitution. Like Nigeria have a constitution. What constitution Nigeria have? A woefully failed constitution. To a constitution that wrote by somebody from Fulani Alamajiri Ganjawit to favor them so that they can take over everything, every part of Nigeria will belong to them. That is why every border is open their trooping. Remember, there's a lot of elderly statements that have spoken in the past that you have to guide yourself, protect yourself. That the, 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 the government and the army they have already compromised. They are working with Fulani Janjaweed. They have said about this many, many times. But guess what? Our people don't listen. Our people will never listen. I don't know the reason why our people are so... They, they are, they, 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 the ignorant in them is so big that they can't understand the, the bold writer written on the, on the black and white. I don't know the reason why. We have to begin to reason. I know that you see this, uh, uh, this uh, security network, a lot of people will not support it. This is how it is. 
we are in the struggle. A lot of people will come against it. A lot of people will support it. But we that are supporting it, we are more. It's only the, 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 the minorities say that they don't like the network. Only minorities. And also, I think uh, uh, what Charlie Boy said, I listened to Charlie Boy. Yes, he said his own mind. He said he never met Mazin Nandika. He don't know him well. But what the man is doing, he's doing fine. Everybody have their own. Why should our people not to understand? They keep on condemning. You know that Yoruba Odudua or Moteku, they have their own. You know that. You know it quite right. We know it that Meati Allah, the northern part of Nigeria, they have their own. Why our own come now? Everybody want to be saying that uh, it's against the law. It's against that. It's against this. If we don't want it. Why can't us reason? All these people, they have their own. We have been waiting for the Eastern governors, the Biafra in general, to bring their own, but they did not because they are afraid. They are afraid. Or their egos. That is the reason why they are fighting each other. That is the reason why they could, ne they could never reason just to put things in order. To one plus one is two. Bring your head, let me bring my head, let's join this. They will not. Ladder, they are there. Now they are there forming. This one will form his own. Uh, this one will form. Is it how he have it? Is it the way they form it in Yoruba land? No, the answer is no. I saw some people, they are talking all sort of rubbish. They are saying that uh, Okowa have formed their own. Uh, this one have formed their own. I'm asking you people, is it the way they form it in Yoruba land? When you come in our own, everybody wants to have their own. In all you know about the world, they have one. In Fulani, they have one. In Fulani, that one, uh, let me say, the, the, the main one is Meati Allah, which is their head. Other fraction from them, they are, you know, they are working on the ground. Nobody ever talk about that. Nobody, nobody. All those era that are coming out and castigating what we are doing, nobody ever condemn the Meati Allah. Most of them in our, believe me, every, every, I quote, every, every governor in Eastern region, in Eastern region, in the whole Biafra, they have Mayati Allah in their cabinet. They have. They have Mayati Allah in their cabinet. There's no lie about it. They never talk about it. They never condemn it. Now we come out with our own to safeguard our land. They begin everybody, both you, both you, the Imo people by the said they are the people castigating it. They begin to quote law for us. Eh? If you ask them, they will tell you they are lawyers. I don't know the kind of law they read that they couldn't understand the, the common sense. You went to school. That means that the money they pay for you is, is useless. If you cannot be able to, to use your, your sense to, to make a multiplication and uh, division what is going on in that contraption, that means that you are, you are stupid. God is more better than you. If you think that all this shouting, we were shouting, begging, Mazen Namdekanu went and meet these people and begged them, tell them that these people, you all these things you people are thinking that it will happen. It will not because we have saw tomorrow. They know it. So the better for us, the better for all these things we are doing, we come together for them to support. Because when I'm, come, when I'm telling you that it's better for us to come together, it's for better for all these governors to support Biafran security, Eastern Region Security Network, for them to support them. This is only better for us so that their children can, can, can also settle down in Biafra land. Except that, you see, all of us, those of you that are living in Europe, all of us that are living here, hmm, for you to go back to your country, you, you will see hell. I am telling you, you will see hell. You are building house in your land, and you will go home, you are sleeping in a hotel. Because why? You are afraid. Because in a hotel, maybe they have two or three policemen that are guiding the hotel, but in your house, you cannot afford to pay policemen, isn't it? You travel, you are carrying policemen to guide you. 
Why you can you come in abroad where you are living in abroad? No police is guiding you. You are free. Do whatever you want to do. Twelve o'clock, one o'clock in the night, you are walking on the streets. Nothing happens. You park your car anyhow. The most expensive car in in the world. If, if you, where I am living today in Europe, you see, they will park it on the street. And on the street, every car, any type of car you can see, or you can take off from 100 and 150,000 euro cars. 250,000 on the street, it's on the street, nothing will happen to it. Because you know why? Camera everywhere. Police are, the, it's a police country. Everything is working. Now they are bringing things that they can help us in our land to protect our properties, our homes, our everything we have. People are joking with it. People are playing with it. My people, you know that some people are saying that uh, you see Bugari. This uh, summon the 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 summon Bugari. I love it. I love it. Those is, that is a people with courage. The summon Bugari, but unfortunate, <laughs> he did not uh, reply to them. And I like and I want people to keep on doing that thing they are doing. You see those people in the cabinet, those people of House of Assembly, or I think what they call themselves, they summon him, is very, very good. Those people have courage to ask him, to come and tell them, to tell them about the security in that contraption. You know why? Because they know that Bugari have died. Those people you see are the people that are fighting. And I like what they did. They will keep on summoning him. They, oh, he will bring that their stupidness out. To show the world, because now that House of Assembly or House of Rep Representative, I don't know what they call themselves, begin to summon him, that shows that for him not to come out, that shows that the man in Asorok is not Bugari. And I love it. I love it. But the one thing about it is like this man can never come out. He can never, because he have died. Bugari have died. Have you heard Tunubu speak about him? Tunubu knows that Bugari have died. Erufai knows that Bugari have died. Willie Obiano knows that Bugari have died. Dave Omari knows that Bugari have died. Okay, Z Ibazo knows that Bugari have died. Little Hitra, that is why he was jumping around during that time. They were saying that uh, he don't obey the government. He don't listen to the, to the presidency. Do you know the reason why? Wicke knows that Bugari have died. That is the reason why he's doing what he's doing. That is the reason why he can do whatever. You see, a Bugari will be alive. He will not listen to Bugari. A dictator, you cannot listen to him. A man that uh, just turn everything upside, you cannot listen to him. He will come for you overnight. He really, he was, he knows all these people are called their name, they knows. But those people you see that they summon Bugari, they know that Bugari have died, but they want to make it public to people that Bugari have died. Because this is the only way they can say it. By summoning him, calling him to come out and be, come and speak to the, to the, to the cabinet. Those people that are working with him. But he ran away. What that shows you, shows you Bugari have died. And that is the encouragement. That is the, the that is what I love. And when Nigeria, when we like last time we have all this uh, uh, revolution, uh, uh, what they call it, NSAS. That is what I love. I thought if that this thing was if this protest continues like the way we, we are pushing them, the next thing we will begin to 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 tell them is begin to tell Bugatti to come out. Begin, don't stop. Begin. Then you will understand that what we are saying. Hold on, my people. Yes, my people, that is the reason why I love the courage of those people that ask Buhari to come and begin to tell them about what is going on in Nigeria. The courage of, you see those people, they are doing a very great work. And I want more people to begin to summon him, to call him. Buhari, come and speak to us. Come and tell us what is going on. But today, you see what is going on in that contraption. Nobody have that gods or balls to summon and tell him that this. But I love the courage of those people. Because those people, maybe they are still a junior, a junior uh, representatives. They cannot just come out and say, Bugatti have died and come.
that we're going to have died and gone. That is what I'm telling you, my people. Bugatti can never come out and speak to you people. He can never. He can never. Till his tunnel is over. He can never. Because they have died. And I have mentioned a lot of people, names that knows that Bugatti have died and gone. You can go and ask them. Those people is the people they can never support to, to summon Bugatti or to call him to ask him a question or ask him a query. Those people can never come out. Tunubu can never do such a thing. Dave Umadi can never do it because they know that they have died and gone. That is the reason why. That's what I'm telling my people. Now that we have the security outfit, we want to support them. For those of us or those of our Biafran people that are saying that uh, we are not in right track, we have to go and uni uh, unite with uh, the governors, uh, the the and the I don't want to call names, but I'm telling you that these people are so they are idiots. They are so idiots because this thing we are doing, we did not start today. We did not start this thing today. We have been begging these people. Pleading to these people, letting them to understand so that their mind will back to them to understand what we are talking about. But they, unfortunately, they don't care. They don't, they don't care. That is the reason why we have to do what we have to do to survive. We must do what we have to do to survive. And that is exactly what we are doing. We must survive. We are fighting for survival. And we must survive. Nothing any man born of a woman can do about it. We have already out, we are out. Biafra is out. ESN is out. And no going back. Before this thing will go down, you see what I'm telling you, my people? Omoteku must be, must be go down. If Omoteku cease to exist, if Mayati Allah cease to exist, then we will too, we will cease to exist. This is it. Our own is our own, and we must protect our own. We must make sure in our disposal that we make sure that we protect our own. There is no two ways about it. But for some of you that don't know, I will tell you something. Let us watch just this little video. Let's just, I have three videos to show my people. Because some of us, they do like gossip. Some of us, they too like talking, 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 talking. They don't want to use their common sense to understand that what we are doing is a spiritual. What we are doing, we send by Shuko Kikadia, Elohim, to rebrand Africa from all this evil they have been into for years. Every time you come in Europe, every Europeans, when they want to give you an example of hunger, they will call African for you. If they want to make a joke, let me say you eat, you want to throw food that you know that you cannot eat again because here food is everything, food is nothing, it's nothing here. They will tell you, are you throwing this food? Do you know that in Africa there is no food to eat? It's a joke, oh, I am telling you people. Africa is the first topic of people every day in Europe. Any Europeans, I went to work yesterday. I went to my job yesterday. I meet an old man. Uh, not an old man, maybe like he, he will be around 60 years. Because I'm a black. But it doesn't matter. They can say whatever they want to say. We have already understand how the system works. But I have some misunderstanding with this man. This man put it on me, African man, who are you? Useless African man, useless African man. That is what he called me, useless African man. Because they have seen us finish, they know that we are nobody. Yes, we are here today enjoying some things. Maybe food is free for you. Believe in me, there is a place you will be, they will let you understand you are nobody. I am telling you. I have faced all this kind of, I have countered all these kind of things many, many times. That I am nobody. Regardless how you dress, regardless the car you are driving, you are nobody. Believe in me. That is what we are trying to do. But people don't know that we also here in Europe, we are suffering from one thing or the other. Everything is not all, things are not all that so perfect the way we think. No. That sometimes in your job, the kind of way they will be talking to you. 
you will begin to ask yourself why we cannot build this Africa. Why can't our people reason for once to understand that we have to build Africa? They have to, the world have to respect Africa for once. Let us build one or three, four, five countries that we compete with Europe. Then you will begin to see the respect they will be giving to you. All these killings they are doing every time. We saw the during the time they are killing people in Libya. Which people they are killing? They are killing black people. Black color. Color people like me, that is people they are killing. Are they killing Arabs? The answer is no. During, during the time of China, who they are killing? Color people like me. Do you know the reason why they don't kill people? When you go to America, the way they, 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 they are molesting the black Africans, do you know the reason why? Because they are, these people have no home. There's no place for them. There's no place they can call their home. Have you ever seen an African American proud of being an African? It's impossible. There's no any black American that will be proud. I mean, I'm from Africa. If you ask them, they say I'm from America. But you will see Asian American, he will be proud to say I am from China. He will be proud. He will never tell you that he's from America. He was born there, they, with their, their forefathers lived there for years, but they will keep on claiming that they're from China. Where you will understand they are citizen or they are American is when they throw out their passport. It will be written there. But because of their, their, their face, because you can, you can notify who they are, they will tell them, I'm from China, I'm from Singapore, I'm from Hong Kong, I'm from Japan. But non-African, non-African American will actually will say, I, they, even though there's a debate, people have, I have saw a lot of debate. You will see a color person like me will be telling that I'm not African. I am not. They are telling you they are not African. Do you know the reason why? They are not proud of Africa. That is the reason why. They are not proud of Africa. But if we build this country or this, if we restore this, our motherland Biafra we are talking about, believe in me, as time goes on, within five years, you will see people that they will say they are proud of Africa. If you ask them, they will just say, I, I am from uh, I am from Biafra. If you ask them, I am from Biafra. If you ask them, they will say, my ancestral lineage is from Biafra. Nobody can tell you that now because nobody, Africa is a, is a jungle. Upon all the richness, upon everything we have, we are still suffering today. We are still on the top of, top of the world today. They are, uh, they are talking about us. They keep on having, uh, helping us, keep on sending all this relief. Why we have the money? One minute, my people. Yes, my people. That is what I want to tell my people. You see the security outfit that we, uh, that our leader Mazen Namikano have bring out, we must support them. Those people that are telling you that this thing is wrong, those people that are telling you that what Mazen Namikano is doing is wrong, if another person still come out, they will still tell you that it's wrong. That is the nature of a Biafran people. You know, when I'm calling people, I don't tell you that this is Igbo or this is Ijo. We are all Igbos. So this is the character and the way of Biafran people. They don't love to come together. They don't love when somebody is doing well. They don't want to support the person 100%. They will keep on running around and talking all sort of, sort of things, concocting stories, doing all manners of things. But we are there, Omoteko have set up their own. And the, do you know the worst part of it? I, I, when, I, when I saw this thing, when they just started, I was just laughing, you know? I was just laughing. You know why I'm laughing? I'm not laughing because uh, Omoteko cannot stand. Omoteko have already stand. They have already <laughs> moving, uh, you know, going every round of their bushes. This is also what we are doing in Biafra land. We, if you people think that we are not going to come out like Omoteko, we will be a secret agent. Now you people, you heard it. We will be the secret one. If you people think that uh, because uh, the law say this, the, when a stupid law say this, we will be the secret one. That nobody will ever, like Mossad, this is how we will be. If you people think that we need the 
Igbo or Biafran approvers to do what we are doing. Believe in me, we will go as Mossad. You understand? That is how we we'll go. And that is what we are operating now. Because we don't need any help of anybody. And we are still pleading them. Go and help them. Go and help them now if you want to secure your life. If you want to survive. You see all this thunder that is coming. If you want to survive, begin now. All these people that you know that you are, you know, I keep on telling people this, but they don't seem to understand. There is a time that will reach. You that is against IPOB, you that is against Biafran restoration, you are not Sabo because I don't call them Sabo, but you, you will pay dearly. Your life will go into it. There is a time that will come. Because I know that some people, there are some things that you will do, they will begin to call you Sabo. All of them, they are not Sabo. All of them are just stupid. All of them, they are, they are just, they are, they are sheepishly and because of lack of understanding. No thinking faculty. That is why they are behaving the way they are behaving. They are not Sabo because there is nothing they can do. They cannot stop the struggle. They only come out to rant. They only come out to condemn like a, like a, they, like they have opinion. Why their opinion means nothing. It's useless. They are not Sabo. That is why I'm saying that this time will come. Both of them, all of them, they will be going down. There's no two ways about it. We know who would be Sabo. Sabo is those people that are conniving. Like Odemma, like person like a nation weekend now that connived with the zoo government and begin to massacre our people. That is what they call Sabo. That is exactly what they call Sabo. A Sabo is when on Nyangwo to Master Nam they cannot went to a meeting Nyangwo and tell Nyangwo that this thing you are asking cannot be possible. Allow me to go for Biafra. Stop going to northern part of Nigeria and be telling them what we discuss or be telling them to come and begin to fight us. When they call you, tell them that I don't know what to do with them. But when Nyangwo to keep on asking them to come, that what they call Sabo. That is a real Sabo. You understand what I'm saying? He gave the mother that they give the road money to build our roads. He's shocking the money in his pocket. When we tell him he will go and call Fulani to come and kill us, that is what they call Sabo. Exactly what is the DJ Lucy is doing now? Ucho Ka from Efo. Ucho Ka from Efo was telling us all these things that we need a security outfit to guide our land, to protect our family, to protect our farm. And now he's now telling us that all those things that he's preaching, now he's against it. That's what they call Sabo. Not all those uh, church, church rats, those inconsequential little small boys that are still feeding with their mother breast. That they know nothing, that they just get a data and begin to speak on social media. You think they are sabo? What are they? Sabo? Those people are just looking for something to put on their pocket. One minute, my people. Yes, my people. You people already know I have to take care of our family sometimes. That is how it is. You know? So, my people, we have to understand who are the sabos and who are doing things that is not in order. Don't just see anybody that just come out and be speaking and be talking, thinking that he has knowledge, thinking that he's saying his opinion. And those people are not sabo because, believe in me, even though Zoo call Nigeria don't know who are they. They don't know them. They are nobody. They are nobody. I see some of our brothers and sisters, like uh, some of our brothers, uh, believe in me, they don't. They never. They, they don't have any qualification. When you are talking about education, they have no any qualification. But unfortunately, they are. You know, social media help us a lot. I cannot lie to our people, because without this social media. We cannot be able to be saying our opinion, our minds. That is good about the social media. Because without social media, it's very, very hard for a person to call me, 
to say you want to have a program with me or to call me in, 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 in a national uh, television or radio, they cannot do it because they know that when I come there, what I will be saying will be against what they are doing and they will never call me. That is why I love our social media. But I am telling you, my people, you see all those people you are seeing on media, they are not, they are nobody. They has nothing to offer. Believe them, they has nothing to offer. Just leave them. They are just coming. You see some people, they will be telling you, uh, we want Mazen Namdekano to allow other uh, uh, groups that are fighting for Biafra, that you should allow them, like Mazen Namdekano hold them. Can you just imagine? If somebody has no any, I'm telling you, this kind of people, these people, I'm telling you, they they don't have any qualification of education. They they they, they even though they cannot speak a very good English, or even though they cannot compose themselves with their own dialect, they cannot compose themselves. Even though you tell them to put, they can never put it in order. Now those people will be telling you that the Mazen Nandekano have to come and unite with them. And I begin to ask yourself, without Mazen Nandekano, who is talking about Biafra? Without Mazen Nandekano, you people are supposed to go and unite with Mazen Nandekano. You don't have to tell Mazen Nandekano to come for you. Mazen Nandekano has the highest followers. Without, without what Facebook is doing, if Mazen Nandekano, if Facebook can be able to release all the whole follower of Mazen Namdekano, believe me, the, the Facebook will close. Facebook will be, will, be, will be shut down. And you that have just a 200 followers, you that cannot just assemble people, you can, you, you know, sometimes my people, I don't understand how I'm, I'm my people reason. Because you think that you have followers on social media, on Facebook, you have 300,000 followers and you think that you can just inside that 300 followers you have. Do you ever think, ask yourself, can I assemble 10 of these people to tell them, go this place, go and do this mission. Come, I want to organize it. Can you do it? You cannot do it. Only what you have is just followers on Facebook, on social media. There is nothing you have again. Everything you have is zero. Just call meeting one day. Just call meeting. That is why, even though I, I'm telling you that there are some brothers, that is why you see when I called somebody like uh, uh, what is uh, Matthias, he will love themselves. When I bring him into my program, you know the reason why I bring this guy into my program because I see this guy he have organization, he have organization that help people. Which of is that this organization now they have have two or three to four people that are working with this organization? Which of is that if Matthias call he can be able to gather five people to sit and talk you you are on media inside media facebook will follow us full everywhere but do you know that you cannot just assemble the people call them to come and talk with you who are you you are just a, a facebook warrior you are just a facebook some people are just looking into their followers that they have already arrived no you are not what they call a leader is what mazen namdekan is doing right now to show the world, I have I, I just read a, a, a publication by uh, former president uh, uh, Obasanjo. I don't know if it's correct or it's fake, but he was saying he was saying that nobody. He said that what Mazen Namdekano did. I don't know maybe it's right or wrong, but I'm just seeing the publication, online publication. He said what Mazen Namdekano did. Two telephone call. Two telephone call. Nobody ever done it. Two telephone call. Because now we see it. What Mazen Namdekamna is doing is telephone call. Call. Hello, my brother. Go there. Go there. Tell these people. Tell these people. Organize them. Organize them. Assemble them. Do this. And as he's saying all this thing, is happening. That is what they call leader. Don't think that because you are on media, you know that a lot of a lot of us people are following us because you talk about Biafra and Mazen Nam the Khan. That is the reason why people are following you. We have to understand that and we have to know about that so that you cannot mislead your own selves. So we cannot mislead ourselves. Begin to think otherwise or think that you have the quality. No, you did not. No, you did not. No, you did not. You will see some people, they will be doing their program, it's like they are going offline. 
what they will do again, they will divert to IPOB. Begin to say some good thing about Mars and Nam the Canon. You will see people will troop to them. Tomorrow they will still go back. And whenever they go out, you will see people will begin to fall. We have, you know why they, some people call themselves, I, I begin to look at people and say, I don't know why our people are still reasoning like this. You will see somebody who has 100 or 200,000 followers. <clears throat> These people will come out and make live video. Go to that share. They cannot get even 150 shares. They cannot even get what people can view what you are saying. Listen to me. I want people to understand. You know how people great, you know how they great people on media, in media, or in social media. Do you know how they great people mostly? When people share your views, your, your program, just look at the people that share your program. That is where you will understand that people, whenever people share your program, is when they begin to like or love what you are saying. They are reasoning. There is a point in what you're saying because sometimes Facebook may block the viewers, but people will share it. They will keep on sharing it. Like as I told you people, I always wonder how it happens. Oh, but I know that this is work of Facebook. Imagine that I will get 2,500 shares. Inside 2,500 shares, I will have only 5,000 viewers. Can you imagine that? People are keep on sharing it. People are keep on sharing it. This is how it is. Okay? And uh, I'm promising you people, very, very soon it will happen. You see all those of you people that are trying to use the leader of indigenous people of Biafra to have followers, believe in me, very, very soon, you people will lose it all. Because we, on this media, will begin to do the needful. Because we are in that position to begin to do this. Because we have, know our stand. We know our stand very, very well. We know our stand, one minute, my people. Thank you, my people. Thank you, thank you, my people. Thank you for listening. This is how it is. We have to tell ourselves the truth. We have to understand who is doing the right and who is doing the wrong. Don't think that because you have a lot of followers, you think that you have already arrived. No, the answer is no. You are nobody. And you are absolutely nobody. Okay? Now I want to show our people a video. Because we have a lot of people, they, 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 what they are saying is like, what we are doing is wrong. And I want to tell them that this, what we are doing, if we don't do it, if we fail to do what this thing we are doing now, if we fail to do it, believe in me, <laughs> that will be a very big problem. That will be a very big problem if we fail to organize ourselves to make sure that one minute my people i think i have to find the video from here i know that our people have saw this video before but i have to repeat all this video so that our people can see listen to this first video No, this, uh, what is wrong with you? Why this is not? Let me show you. These people that someone. Mr. President has no respect for the National Assembly. We must hate it. I like the painful part. Our resolution don't mean anything. Our bills that are passed are not accepted to. The more you say it, the more annoying it is to the President. He will never change them. Therefore, Mr. President, please. I want you to have a costly look at Session 1.3. Session 1.3 is all the power removal, Mr. President. There are certain actions that the National Assembly can take. I am not saying the President must be removed. No, to be premature. But let us take a resolution signed by one third of us of members of the National Assembly and said to him that again, 
We are not blocking him, we are compelling him. That Mr. President, we want to immortate you with the insecurity in this country. My position. I'm not asking for his impeachment. I'm asking that he be compelled. Is Mr. President waiting for us to He say he has to be compelled. He has to be compelled. These people is the people that have your country in their mind. They want something to be changed. That is why they are summoning Bugatti to come out and speak to people. But as I'm talking to you people, these people knew quite right that Bugatti have died. That is why they are doing what they are doing. But those people that they knew, they knew very well that Bugatti have died, they can never come out and say anything. They will never say anything. So let us continue. Let us continue, please. Yes, my people. The former motion to the floor of this house to say we pass a vote of no confidence. Is that what they are waiting for? We should sit down within ourselves and say it as it is and take appropriate actions. Mr. President, if you have any problem with that, allow the Senate to do it. We understand your position. You are in a difficult position. But let me tell you, Mr. President. God will ask you. One life. This is not the end. The Constitution is clear. It did not limit what we can do. We must call the attention of our president. We voted for him. Mm. Nigeria voted for him for the fact that we are consistently, as a government, failing in our responsibility under Section 42B. There should be a specific resolution in that was a constitution. All of us here. Those are colleagues earlier today swore to uphold the constitution. The presidency is not an award. Uh -huh. It's a call to duty. And when you call a man to duty, he must be dutiful enough to know when the buck stops on his table. And right now, Mr. President, the buck, as far as security is concerned, yes. stops squarely okay. on the table of Mr. President. This government has failed all of us. Did you hold it? No doubt about it. Let me repeat it. I'm not the one that said it. As far as security is concerned, I'm not the one that said it. On the table of Mr. President, this government has failed all of us. The government has failed all of us. If we decide that government must do something before we will we will produce the budget, I am sure they will be up and doing. Okay. Since Friday, 300, over 300 children have been moved. Okay. You have security people who are just collecting money and building big, big houses in Abuja. Okay. Are you listening? The level at which people are killed, I think we need to rethink on how to make the security architecture responsive to the security challenges of today. <clears throat> My people, I hope. You people listen to this uh, message. People are saying that Nigeria have failed. You know, when we are saying this, some people don't get it. You know, there are some people in this government that this thing has shook. It has shook them. They are beginning to come out to say that all this thing that we have been saying for all this while, that we are right. We are right. We are 100% right. Nigeria have failed. Nigeria, the security, the government of Bugari, the Bugari APC, the PDP, every party in that contraption have failed woefully. Nigeria have failed. Nigeria is a failed state. We have been saying this for years. Not today. Not today we have been saying this. That is the problem, our people. When we are saying this, they will say we. Now you have hearing it from other people and I, I think that some people didn't listen to this video very very well I will still repeat to this video some of us are just joining now I want you to also listen to this particular one For you to know that those people in house of rep they are now speaking They are now speaking the same tone that we are using that before in uh, let me say in in in, in last three years last four years when we say this they will say don't say that who tell you to say this but now they are telling you that nigeria have failed 
the government security, they have failed. Buhari have failed. Now do you see it? Now they are summoning Buhari. They are calling him to come. But they know that he died because they want to disgrace him. These people want to disgrace him. These people are listening to IPOB Mazen and they have made their, their they have made underground work and understand that this man is not the man. That is why they are, that's why they are summoning him to come and speak. Some people will be telling you, you don't know Bugari. Uh, how can Bugari come and speak to you? Bugari that we used to know that anything that will happen, Bugari will just come out. When you are talking about it, if if Bugari didn't say anything, insecurity Bugari must come out. Oh, Bugari is one that started war against indiscipline. Is he not Bugari? Insecurity, Bugari will come out. But now where is Bugari? You don't find him. You cannot see him. He can never come out. He can never speak to you people. Because well, one day, one day, we will still see somebody from this House of Rep or Assembly, we still tell that we have died. One day will come because there's a time that they cannot hold themselves again. They are not holding themselves well now. That is why some of them are speaking. That is why some of them are voicing out. Because they have seen what we are seeing. They Maybe they have saw it before, but they are trying to think maybe things can be shaped. They don't know that uh, we have seen the back of Pan, Pan Wine Tapa that nothing can be changed in that zoo. Let's listen to this uh, video once again. Then I will bring a video of one of the heads, uh, I think he's a, he's a head of the state, former head of the state, or I think he is, I don't know, I don't know, he may be, I don't know, I have forgotten. So I will still bring the video, elderly statement, what he has spoken before, for you to see that what IPOB, the security network that we brought out, Mazen Nandekaro IPOB, is the solution. That is, there is no two way. I don't know why some people are condemning it. I don't know why some people are just trying to, I don't know, are they thinking that we are here to, to for a shy play? We have a great, greater uh, people from Odudua. They, 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 they salute the courage. They salute the courage. Is those riffraff we have in Igbo land. Those that are supposed to support what we are doing are the people that are coming and talking all sorts of rubbish. I also commend Charlie Boy. I, I, I don't know his stand. You know, but you know, what we are here for is that whenever somebody says something that is is good or something that is aligned in what we need, we will commend him. We will commend him. Look at that that yesterday, I don't know, yesterday or day after yesterday, a broadcast or an interview they did to to two or three people on BBC Ndiala and Joshi. We do you see how a man speak? Charlie Boy spoke well. Regardless, he spoke well. He spoke well for what he just said. He said, it's not siding a Mazen Namdekan. I want you people to just understand what we are saying. You don't need to side the Mazen Namdekan. You don't need to side IPOB. But when people, you see that this thing is a progress, you have to support it. That is what exactly what Charlie Boy did. He saw it. He said it. Omoteko have their own. Yoruba do have their own. Meati Allah have, I know that they don't want to call their names, but we are the people. We will call their name. Ask me who tell me to say. Nobody, but I will call their name. Their name is Meati Allah. Omoteko is Yoruba Odudua. Meati Allah, the most fought deadlocks group in the whole world that they never prescribe in Nigeria. They are, they have their own. And they have every representatives in every state in that in 36 state of that contraption they have a representative they have people in the every cabinet from north down to east and now we bring our own instead of you to be saying good instead of you to be looking how you will you will form them how you will begin to to prepare to sew uniform for those that never have uniform already Instead of you to be preparing, how can you go and import, a, a, I don't know, 30 containers of food? Or how to prepare? How can you bring a new way to, 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 to make some people to begin to farm? To make a farmyard for people? 
bring them, call them, let them begin to, to, to plant anything because anything can happen. This that you see this thing we are doing now. Believe in me, you know, people think that this thing we are talking is a joke. You see, when Mazat Namikano started, just look at back and what how where we are today. You will see that every year things change. Every year things change. Things different change. That is why I'm telling my people, as time goes on, anything, something must happen because Nigeria, they will come. They will come because they always see us that we are nobody. They always see they have killed our people in OG. They have killed our, our people in uh, in uh, in uh, Ibosha. They have killed our people, our people in Abia. They have killed in Anambra, in Hebrew. Everywhere they have killed our people. And they know that we are not doing anything. That is the reason why they will still come back. Back, they will come now. You, you don't know. We are telling our people what they don't know. We are telling you people what is about. Nigerian people will come. You see, for this security we, we just launched, they will come. They will try to intimidate us. Maybe it will be like the way it is before. And that time they will understand that now is a new level. Because hey, hey, Imana, the more people are growing up, the more years come, we have more intelligent people People are beginning to learn more. People are beginning to understand that, okay, we did a mistake yesterday. This, tomorrow, we have to find a new strategy. That is why you see, for Nigeria, if they will come, they will come. But this time around, it will not be like other years. That is why I'm telling my people, what you have to do to support the volunteers to begin to do something. Going her way, and I mean, we have to say things how it is. Going her way, 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 protect her way, going her way, fear, buy it for them, buy it for them. This is how it is. But my full and all, full and are coming. Full and all, Gabia, they will come. Write it down. I'm not the first person that said it, I'm not a prophet. Our leader Mazen have been saying they, they will come, and I believe because you know when somebody is talking, like our leader Mazen, whenever he says something, I always repeat his program, his broadcast. I always listen it. If lesser is two times, when you listen to it and you compare it with what is happening in that contraption, then you will begin to understand. Yes, they are coming then you will understand they are coming they don't need to tell you you don't need to dream about it you don't need to sleep a prophet have don't have to tell you this you don't have to go to dpr for dpr to tell you that full are come they are coming they are coming so why can't you say it that is why you see in nigeria a lot of people have turned to prophet a lot of people have turned to prophet do you know the reason why because those people you see they have turned themselves to prophets. I'm not saying what they are saying is, right, is wrong. They are saying exactly what is happening. But where I'm against them sometimes is like, they will begin to tell you that they are prophets. Like me, I have read Nigeria. I have studied Nigeria. I know what, believe in me, if I tell you that if I count them prophets, if I prophesy, but I tell people I'm not a prophet. I a person, I'm a kind of person that meditate. I believe in reality. When you begin to meditate and focus on reality and know how things work, believe in me, you can predict a lot of things in Nigeria. Go and watch my live video. I predict it's not a prophecy. I predict that Bugari will come back. Go to listen to it in 2017 or in 2019, the second coming of dead Bugari. I, I said it. Because why I said it, I have seen that when Mazen Namdekano said that vote did not count in Nigeria, you look at it and you reason it that true, true, vote did not count. You look at it when Mazen Namdekano said that in Nigeria is after the voting, they have selection. They will select people that they want them to be there. Then you look at it, you compare it, you see there's a truth there. And he still tells us that 
you know all these things that uh, the, the people that will already rule you, they have already recorded and registered their name. They are just people are just coming up and lining up and saying they are voting just for the world to see so that they will have a news to give to people. But at the end, they know people that will go there. And you reason all these things, you can bring the prophecy, you can predict. But people call it a prophecy. You can predict and exactly what you predict will come. Eh? Somebody will tell you now, somebody will prophesy, somebody will come now and tell you that he's a prophet, he's man of God. He will tell you that in, 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 next, uh, in next month, in next two months, as I'm seeing in spirit, in spirit reign, because this is how they call it, in spirit reign, that uh, there, there will be a massacre in northern part of Nigeria. Don't you know that there will be a massacre already? You don't know. Do you know how many terrorists they have there? More than seven terrorist groups. And they're active. They are killing. They are adopting. They are massacring every single day. And somebody will come and prophesy for you that they will keep person in a in northern part of Nigeria. He never give you a particular place. So, and you will say it's a prophecy. That is the condition of Nigeria. That is how Nigeria is. You can say things that will happen. And it will come to pass. Because Nigeria is a zoo. Nigeria is a concocted. Nigeria is a fraudulent. Let me show my people this video once again before I will go to my last video. Because this last video that I will show my people is for you to understand that what we are doing, we are in right track. We are in the right track. We are doing what we have to do. We are doing the exactly what we have to do is what we are doing now. If we fail to do this, believe in me, the kind of catastrophic will fail upon our people. Nobody can withstand it. That is why we have to, you know, bridge it before it comes. And that is what IPOB Mazen Namkan is doing. And a lot of our people are coming and condemning what we are doing. You can condemn it. And I want you people to also understand that not everybody will support Biafran restoration. But we have promised every one of them that we will restore Biafra for them. Whether you support it or not, we will restore Biafra for every Biafras. Where we will come against you is if you are in your zone, your comfortable, beautiful house you have built for yourself, and begin to castigate what we are doing, we will come for you. But if you keep your mouth mute and be enjoying your, 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 your way and your, what your slave master is paying you, you are enjoying, you are, you are benefiting from Nigerian government and you keep your mouth mute, maybe we cannot remember you because we don't know who you are. We never see you. We don't know how much you are gaining. We don't know that maybe you are working with the Nigerian government or you are benefiting. But when you begin to come out and showing your stupidity and telling us that you are among the government and you are coming to defend the government, believe me, we will come for you. That is where it is. We are promising everybody that we will bring Biafra for it. Biafra is for all of us. Biafra is for all of us. Forget about those people who are coming to deceive you, are telling you that some people want to hijack Biafra, some people are doing this thing in, uh, in their own part. We have said it over and over. As far as you are Biafra, as far as you are a Biafra, you are IPOP. But we have to understand that some people that already bring out themselves to begin or to propagate this issue of Biafra, that is who they are. They are family members. Everybody's IPOB, but they have the family members. Which I am one of them. I am in I am in IPOB. I am one of IPOB family members. I am IPOB, the indigenous person. But I am in that group of people that have already made up their mind that they want to talk about Biafra. They want to fight with their last blood to restore Biafra. I am one of them. And those people, they call them family members. Now do you understand what I'm saying? So don't say that somebody is telling you you are not a Biafra. It's a lie. Nobody can ever come to tell you that you are not a Biafra person. Nobody can tell you that. Our leader have repeated over and over. But the problem is our people don't listen. Our people don't listen. They just get, if they will join program, they will join your live brokers at the middle. From that, at that middle, they don't begin to judge you, who you are. You are nobody. You are that. Let's listen to this video again, once again. And then I will go to my last video.
Then I'll go to my. Mr. President has no respect for the National Assembly. For the National Assembly. We must hate. Yes. And that's the painful part. Our resolution don't mean anything. Our bill that our past are not assented to, the more you say it, the more annoying it is to the president. He will never change them. He will never change them. The worry is dead now. Please. I want you to have a costly look at Session 1.3. Session 1.3 is not the power removal of Mr. President. There are certain actions that the National Assembly can take. I am not saying the president must be removed. No, to be premature. But let us take a resolution. We are even though me, <clears throat> the man says something. Even though me, I'm not saying that Buhari should they should remove Buhari. My campaign is for Buhari to come out and speak. <laughs> Who is asking Buhari to go? We are not asking him to go because we know that already Buhari have died. So what we are campaigning. For those that are saying that Bugatti is still alive, some people are saying that Bugatti is uh, capacitated. Well, this is what the word uh, that we should come from for is using now. Now, can we have Godo who this uh, this another man, another another extra mad man, another extra a uh, person that they have already walloped his mind? It's you know, you know, people think that it's everybody that went to school abroad is uh, well read. Bugatti is capacitated. And which of is that what they are telling, trying to tell us now that Bugatti is still alive? That is what Ucho Mefo, This is what Ucho, when we when I'm telling you that Ucho Mefo is foul, on I don't want to go that place because I didn't come for him today. But I, you know, some talks we bring talks from Okune Buto. On I say what he's trying to tell us that Bugatti is still alive. Maybe he cannot perform. Maybe it's not that kind of. He don't have that strength. Maybe he's in coma. This is what uh, Rusha Mefo is capacitated. That is why we, we are telling you that Bugari is dead. The people that summoned Bugari to come and speak to them, Bugari did not come. When I telling you that Rusha Mefo have joined the zoo, you say I'm lying. Rusha Mefo have joined them. Believe in me. For him to be saying all this thing that he never said for more than six years, for more than six years, we have been telling you people that one of the major problems of Rusha Oka for Mefo, the Agoba, was if you want to brought me to your program, stop mentioning that Bugari is dead. That is when they were negotiating with him. Uh, I think if we use the deputy, the second in command, I think we will get the struggle down. This is what the zoo thought. But they, they, you know, that is one thing I'm saying that when the majority carries the vote, majority, we are majority, we are not minority. We are majority. That is why we stand in Eastern Security Network. Because we are the majority. We are not minority. So minority people can say what they want to say. It's one man, one vote. One man, one vote. So if Omoteko and uh, Odudua can be able their people with their majority support also in Odudua today we they have minority that did not support uh omoteku we don't know have you ever see tunubu come and talk about omoteku they say that he supported them have you seen uh, tunubu the answer is no you will not see him they are the minority but the majority come and say omoteku must stand this is how we also the biafras the majority come and said this thing that Mazen Nam the Canon brought out, we will support it. Who is the leaders? Who is the elites? How many governors? Okay, now when you come in Biafra land, we have a is in the is it a how many states? Nine states or something like that with uh, some of our brothers and sisters in Benue in the so some part of uh, uh, Benue and other places. I think 13 or, or nine states. How many they are? Each state have one governor and one deputy. Each state have one governor. If you go every each state, maybe they have their 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 cabas or I mean the the, the 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 representatives and the governors together in each state. Maybe there will be okay. Let me say three thousand people. Three thousand people with three thousand votes. Now, do you understand the power 
that the majority have, the power that the citizens have. That is why we were pushing people in NSAS protests because we have acknowledged the, the, the security of Nigeria, that each person in Nigeria, 10 people, 1,000 people, we hold one security man. You see how we number them? We have numbered them. That shows that they are no problem. If 10 people or 100 people can hold one soldier, that means that we, we, we have run over, we have overrun them. That is what exactly what we are saying in this security outfit, that we majority, we have been taking over the minority. The minority has no mouth to say. They will be just ranting, but they cannot do nothing. Because as far as we, the majority, have come out and said that we stand on this, we have stand. Don't you see when the SARS and SARS started? Do you see when the majority come out on the street? How many police people shoot? How many army shoot? None. But when they begin to tell them that we have listened to you, we have understand your problem, we are promised, they are promising them. Because you know, African people, when somebody said that we have understood what you're saying, or we have understand you, we have learned, or we understand what you're saying, we have heard you go home. You don't have to go home. That means that doesn't mean that they have uh, uh, settled all the problem. They are telling us to, they are telling the answer to go home so that they will find another strategy to begin to kill them. And when they tell them not to go home, few people will come and they will kill them. The other people will go inside because they have taken over again. That is what we're saying. That is exactly what we're saying. Let's listen to this, uh, this, uh, this man where he said that, you see, they can never be afraid of Buhari. They are doing this because these people have their gods. Because they understand that Buhari, they know that Buhari have died, but they cannot just come out and say it the way we are saying it. They cannot. That is why they want to disgrace the man in Asoro. And the man in Asoro can never come to speak to you. Do you, do you think that you come? Call him till that kingdom come, he will never come. To this tenor of their, 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 their conspiracy will end. Till the call, one day you will hear after maybe after Bugatti will rule finish now because after he will rule finish, he will begin to have some uh, some uh, people will be calling him to, to go. Maybe after then you will be hearing that uh, uh, after Bugatti will finish after two months, Bugatti died. This is this is the story you will hear. I said it today, I said it now, but just wait after the tenor of Bugatti finished. You will see maybe after 20, 20 this is they say 2023 or something, they are stupid, they are talking. And maybe 2024, you will hear that uh, 2014. You will be hearing that Buhari have died. This is the story we hear. Believe me, you will hear it. You will still hear it. We are predicting. Because Nigeria is a zoo. Nigeria is a place that you will say something. It will happen because things are happening there. Evil is there. The home of evil is in Nigeria. Because Nigerian breeds criminals and terrorists. That is why you can predict, you can tell, you can say, tell somebody now, my brother, I give you from now to one week, then we adopt another case from a northern part of Nigeria. It will happen, don't you know? It will happen. It will happen. It will happen. Let's finish this video. I will not talk again in this video. On this video, I mean to say, so that our people will listen to it till the end. Then you will know that Nigeria has failed woefully. Nigeria has end. Okay, let's listen. Our resolutions don't mean anything. Our bills that are passed are not accepted to. The more you say it, the more annoying it is to the president. He will never change them. Therefore, Mr. President, please, I want you to have a cautious look at Section 1.3. Section 1.3 is not the bar removal, Mr. President. There are certain actions that the National Assembly can take. I am not saying the president must be removed. No, it will be premature. But let us take a resolution said by one third of us. Remember, that's what I said. I said to him that again, we are not prodding him, we are compelling him. That, Mr. President, we want to inundate you with the security in this country. In my position, I'm not asking for his impeachment, I'm asking that he be compelled. Mm -hmm. Is Mr. President waiting for us to bring a formal motion to the floor of this house to say we pass a vote of no confidence? Is that what they are waiting for? We should sit down within ourselves and say it as it is and take appropriate actions. Mr. President, if you have any problem with that, allow the Senate to do it. Okay. We understand your position. You're in a difficult 
Because he's dead. He hear what he said. He's in difficult position. <laughs> oh. Okay. Nigeria voted for him to ensure right. that we are consistently, as a government, failing in our responsibility under Section 14.2b. There should be a specific resolution in that way. It's a constitution. All of us here, those are our colleagues earlier today, swore to uphold the constitution. The presidency is not an award. Uh -huh. It's a call to duty. And when you call a man to duty, he must be dutiful enough to know when the bug stops on his table. And right now, Mr. President, the buck, as far as security is concerned, stops squarely on the table of Mr. President. This government has failed all of us. This government has failed all of us. No about that. If we decide that government must do something before we will, we will produce the budget, I am sure they will be up and doing Since Friday, 300, over 300 children have been moved. Then we have security people who are just collecting money and building big, big houses in Abuja. And then we say that we can only pay lip service. And then we say we are representing the people who are not representing them. We must address this issue the way it is. The level at which people are killed, I think we need to rethink on how to make the security architecture responsive to the security challenges of today. <clears throat> Let me uh, just ship something before I will show my last video. Uh, you heard this man where he said that he knows that Bugari is in difficulty. That shows that Bugari have died. Only the wisdom people can understand. And the, uh, the woman said uh, that uh, the country have failed, the security have failed everybody in Nigeria. They have failed because they are the people that are funding Boko Haram. Uh, this man is saying that uh, uh, the man said before the woman, uh, 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 the one that's saying that uh, he knows that Bugari is in difficulty. He also said if they, Bugari cannot do something, he should tell the House of the Rep or House of Assembly what they call themselves, or the whole Janja Widison and the evil people there. And uh, <clears throat> these people sometimes they make me laugh. They make me laugh. They, they, they know when uh, El Rufai went to national television, they saw El Rufai, they saw, everybody saw El Rufai, went to national television and begin to say, we pay terrorists, we pay them, we pay them. And he's there telling you that President is, President is in difficulty. Why they know who is funding them? Have they called El Rufai? That is why you can see that all this someone they are somewhere in Bulgaria, you can never see El Rufai. He can never come. What in Garo Basheo? You can never see Garo Basheo. Garo Basheo knows that Bulgaria have died. Adesina, Adesina knows that Bulgaria have died. All these people, they are people that in payroll. They pay them to do what they are doing, but they will pay dearly. Believe in me. Let me show you people this last video. Then you will know that what we are doing is meant to be. All this thing we are doing, IPOB, Mazen, Nam, the Kano. People have been saying about this thing, not today. So for us to be able for all this year, I want to, when I will show you people this video, I want you people to calculate when this man, this is still white and Juma. I want you people to know, to, to, to just flash back. When did T.Y. Dantuma said this? We never ever talk about Eastern Security Network. By then, Omoteku never set up. When T.Y. Dantuma had been telling the whole Nigerians to begin to protect yourself. I want us to listen to it again and begin to understand that if you fail, your head... We enter. If you fail to go there, most of us that are living in Europe, you will not have a place called home. If we fail with all these things that we have on the ground now, not supporting them, not supporting them financially, because that is where the problem is. They need something doing. They need to be eating. They need to be surviving every any place they may be. They say we are in the bush. But I'm telling them that now we are secret agents. 
We are secret agents. Don't think that we are in the bush. Because that thing that you people are thinking, saying that Omoteku, they do their own freely, they are walking on the street, and when they cast person, they will take it to police. As you people have given us this condition, and you think that you people thought that this is a condition to us, we will tell you people we will be a secret service. You see parade where our people is. When some of us will begin to walk, you will see that they will be secret. And we will be taking all of you one by one. Like Undertaker, we will come and pick you. Any place you are, we will pick you. Because now you people are saying that we don't have that power to come out on the street to begin to guide our roads, to begin to guide all the whole checking points in Biafra land. We will become undercover. We will be undercover, a secret agent that you people will never see when they operate, when they walk, when they pick up, pick you people up. You people will never know. Because this is what you people think. You people think that you people have brain. You people think, say, on our brain, they work. As on our brain, they work. Our own, they work times 10. If you think that you want to threaten us and tell us that we are bush people, we will tell all you people that we will be a secret underground agent, that we will be operating in the whole 36 state of Nigeria, 36 states everywhere. We will be operating there, and you people can never know the color of our people. You can never know them. We will work with me people. We will eat with you people. And we will be taking you people one by one. If you people don't take time, you better. I'm urging all the whole governors. Because, uh, you know, say, ah, Bante, Nante, Anogo, Ebere, we see, Han, Nante, Aure, Gaba. We are saying it now. We are urging them, go and support those people so that they will come out fully on the street like Omoteku. That is your people work now to do. That is, I'm telling you people, that is your work, what you will do now so that we benefit everybody. Because when we will turn all this thing full time to underground secret, secret agent, it will be very, very bad for all of us. I am saying it. Both Sabo, both you that is against the Piafran restoration, both you that is talking bad about our struggle, believe me, all of us will be in problem. So the better we do the needful, for you, the governors and the elderly statements, and anybody you may consign in Biafran land to join these people and help them to make sure they come out now so that you can see them physical, so that they will be operating like Omoteko. This is, I'm warning you people now, it's a warning. But some people will say, Who are you? But it will come to that stage. If they fail, or they begin to talk all these things they're saying, Omoteku is this, Omoteku is free, they are wearing their uniform, they are, they are parading themselves, they are using car, they are driving their heroes, they are carrying their gun, you can see everything. When we will start our own with all this, you know that now, don't think that I will come here to begin to plead to them. I tell them things how it is, so that they can be able to learn. We can never plead to anybody. We all are humans. We have equal regardless of your position and the money you have stolen we are all human that is why i'm telling them what is about to come so that they will begin now to ally with ipob begin to work with the security network and call them so that they can be able to be functioning proper give the heroes they should go and buy it in quantum let them go and buy it in quantum. Let go and supply ammunition to them so that they will have the number of ammunitions. I am telling them, this is the this is a, a revolution for them. If they can hear, let them hear. If they don't want to hear, let their ear be blocked when it will happen. If they tell you people that last year, last three years, when they are calling our leader Mazen Nam, they cannot talk at you. If they are telling you that your person can say that only phone call, Mazen Nam can have organized. If they tell you such a thing will happen, will you believe it? We are telling you people what is about to come so that you people will begin to reason. Let us listen to Dan Juma, then you will begin to understand that what we are doing is right. He left to the governors, the elites, whosoever you may concern, to begin to do something now. Like as I said, go and begin to buy them heroes in quantum. In, I don't know, thousands. 
Go and begin to buy them AK for the each, each person will have double AK for them. God go by me corner. Let this be fair. Let it be easy for us. That is the, the advice I'm giving to them. But if you people think that I will come here and begin to tell them, I will tell them, this is how I answer them. But I will give them advice. My advice will not be played. But we, because we, they have, these people have done evil to our people. They have to use their own common sense and understand what is good for them. Let us listen to D.Y. Danjuma. And this will be my last video. Pay very big attention. I want you to just relax and listen to every single word that come out from T.Y. Danjuma. This video was not last year. I think or the beginning of our last year, this video was, or the middle of last year. And you will see what IPOB is doing today. For those of you that are condemning them, Okay, for those of you that are saying that we don't know what we are doing, then you will understand that we have been we have been begging these people for years. Till Danjuma also come because Danjuma have heard what we are saying. Danjuma is listening to Mazen Nam the Kano. Danjuma thought that by keeping silent, they can walk on the ground to solve the problem. But as time goes on. Danjuma get to understand that what we are saying is right. Danjuma have to come out and tell the people, defend yourself. Defend yourself. And I want you to understand, just pay very big attention, please. This video is where we will learn a lot of things. This video is the video that anytime person tell you that what we are doing is wrong, just bring out this video, show him what T.Y. Danjuma said. Just show him this video and he will shut up his mouth. And when T.Y. Danjuma was saying this, T.Y. Danjuma didn't call any particular people. He said, Nigerian people, go and guide yourself. Protect yourself. If you fail, your head will follow. Now, let's listen, please, my people. Pay attention, please. Taraba is a million state. It's a mini Nigeria composed of various ethnic groups living together reasonably peacefully. But the peace in this state is being is under assault. There's an attempt at ethnic cleansing in this state and of course in all the riverine states of Nigeria. All the whole riverine state in Nigeria. Listen it. We must resist it. <laughs> we must stop it. Mm -hmm. Every one of us must rise up. Mm -hmm. The armed forces are not neutral. Are you listening? They are not neutral. They collude. They collude. They they collude. Oh. Hey, three times he said it. Three times. They collude with the armed bandits. They kill people, kill Nigerians. They facilitate their movements. They cover them. If you are depending on the armed forces okay. to stop the killings, you will all die. Thank you, Dangula. Thank you, Danjuma. If you depend, the ethnic cleansing must stop in Taraba State. It must stop in all the states of Nigeria. In the, all the state of Nigeria. Somalia will be a child's play. Ah, Mazen Nande can chuku go zero. Okuni ni ku tu akadanjuma si ukuya. Onendo. Onendo, you could hear before you could hear. Defend your country. Okay, you could hear. They will never say anything. Country, defend your state. Hey, Danjuma. You have nowhere else to go. Of course, yeah. You have nowhere else to go. Of course. God bless our country. No.
Danjuma, for that one where you said, you know, agree. <laughs> Dan Juma, that one where you say last, you say a lot, but God will, where God can never bless. God cannot bless something that He's not created. God don't do that. God don't do that. What He never created, He can never bless it. But you say something. You see this video that we just watched finish now. Anybody that comes to you and tell you that what we are doing, you see exactly what Mazen Nam the can only do only chukuro potra. Kobia nyari amamihe na gugushe. Okuya before. If they don't do something about Nigeria, that Somalia will be better. Danjuma still repeat it. If I tell you people that Danjuma listen to Mazen Nam the Kano, if we are telling you people the world are listening to this man, you people don't believe. Danjuma still repeat, even though I never get to this point. To this, that uh, Danjuma also said that if you people couldn't defend, if you people did not defend yourself or depending on Nigerian uh, security, that, that all of you will be perished. Yeah, and he said that Somalia will be a child play. I never said that. He, I never knew that Danjuma also copied that, uh, that, that, that quota from our leader Mazen Namikan. Now you listen to it. So this video. It's a video that anytime you see anybody begin to tell you otherwise, begin to tell you what you don't understand, just show him this video of Danjuma. When Danjuma was saying this, he did not call any part. He called some places, but let us, he's calling the place because <clears throat> that is a place that things were happening by then, but now they have rampaging all the whole country in all the whole zoological, they are all there. They are there. They are there. For, uh, what, what, what is his name? That, that man have died. Uh, Ismail, uh, Ismail Isa uh, Fontua. He said it. They have occupied. They have taken every, over everything. The police, they are the head. Army, they are the head. Navy, they are the head. Air Force, they are the head. Water police, they are the head. head. Any, any, any security position, any security force in that contraption, Full and near Alamadri, they are the head. And Danjuma tell us here that if you are waiting for Nigerian government, Nigerian security agents to come and guide you and protect you, believe me, you will die. I'm not the one that said it. But this thing that Danjuma said, I we are just bringing it out because it's one of those that they are seen as their, as their father of Nigeria. That is why we are bringing all this into our people. But for me, let for me, eh, all this thing that Danjuma was saying, I have said it before Danjuma. I said it before Danjuma. I don't say I said it before Mazen Namdeka because Mazen Namdeka have saying this. Before I begin to listen to him, I say, let me listen to this, our leader Mazen Namdeka. I begin to, and then I say, let me compare it with all this thing that this man is saying. And I say that it's right. Then I, be, I pick up. From there, begin to tell them, begin to study Nigeria, begin to see how things begin. I begin to say the same thing again. So, why I'm bringing this video to our people? Because you know, our people they always respect elder. It's good to respect elder, but it's only the elder that is wise. Because we know that, that we have some stupid people when they were young. As they get old, they are also stupid. And they are stupid, we, uh, we, we upgrade. If you people don't know, when somebody is young, and he have, he, says, he, he have he 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 don't reason, or he have a mental stupidity in him. As he's getting old, that stupidity will begin now to be will become imbecile, imbecile stupidity. Which office that he will be? He, he, he even though to tell you to come, you begin make sure you you will start running. To, for, for that people to tell you to come, you will be running. That is why you see I don't respect most of. I cannot tell you it's everybody. I have some people also in my mind that I know that they have been, they have, they have, they have spoke about what is going on in Nigeria. That is people I respect. I cannot tell that I don't respect Dan Juma. I respect him because for him, as an elderly statement, to come out and say something like this that we have been saying, I respect him because he has that courage to come out and tell the people because he knows that as his uh, elderly statement, People will listen to him more. 
That is why I, I that is why I respect him. I don't respect him as uh, that he have done uh, wonderful. All this thing he said, we have already said it before. Go and listen to my previous video. Go and listen to Onyen Dumazen Nambekano. Where when he was shouting all this thing before. Where are they? Are they they're sleeping, but they are listening. They are listening, thinking that they can be able to solve the problem on the ground but they don't know as they are leaving the, the the problem the problem will keep on decay and there will be a problem for them tomorrow which is they have come to extend that that human have to come out and begin to tell people go and defend yourself if they kill you you die for nothing so my people i will call it a day i thank you all for listening to me and i want you also to plead you people don't hesitate to share the video this is very very important for us the last video that i did i think it was two days by now we have already have almost 800 and uh, maybe also 820 shares is very very good for us i know the viewers sometimes they don't some people are highly listening some people they don't get my notification but as i end the video they will begin to get the notification little by little and people will begin to view it. I always know about that. That there is no video that I did that we never, you must get more than 500 shares. You must. That is for sure. Because we know that I know that I talk sense into people. I talk sense. I always come in. I always hear for reality. My people, I forgot that I said that I will, I will paste my number. You know, I don't used to, I don't used to it. That is why I said it from the beginning of this video, but now I forgot. And now I'm descending. I cannot paste my number again. And next time that I will come up, please, I would like to paste my number, even though to have some call with some people, maybe three or four people, you know, it will be very, very good for me too, because I always like to hear from people's opinion, but why, the reason why I don't have to, I don't like people coming to praise me. That is the problem. That is one thing because I don't read comments so much. So when you praise on comment, it's not something that I will have to be reading because it will now distract me. I don't read comment. Yes, I read sometimes when I finish my broadcast to call people's, people's name. Maybe by then I can just read some things that people just write. So what I'm telling you, my people today, in conclusion of this, my program today is that Eastern Region Network must stand. We are saying it. If they want to say that it will not stand, any day that Omoteku stopped to work, any day Mehati Allah stopped to work, then maybe we will begin to contemplate, maybe we begin to reason, maybe we can stop, but I don't think that this thing that we have be able and we also have to understand the evil or even though if all these things stop or if all those people stopped or motorcycle stop we also have to check how long did this mayati era have been operating then we will consider it from there for us to also be able to walk that years they have already walked before we'll be trying to figure if they can stop but i don't believe in this life that this will stop i'm just saying you know sometimes uh, what i'm saying is not that i'm it's, it's an order but it's just also my own opinion because we know that mayati allah can never stop that is impossible the day mayati allah stopped that is the day that adoption and killing and kidnapping will stop in the world in the stop the whole biafra in the whole zoo country it will stop the day Mayat Allah cease to exist. That shows you that it can never happen. And that, that is also that Biafran uh, uh, Eastern Region Security Network can never stop. ESN can never stop. So my people, now this is my conclusion and we have to understand that we are moving forward. We are the moving train. Please my people, I urge every one of you, those that are, are never done anything for IPOB, those that never done anything for Biafran restoration, those that are still hiding under their bed, under their mother bed, wife's bed, never done nothing, please. We have our securities 
network our people have come out to secure our land and we have a lot of rich people in Biafra land they should help them they should help them give them what they need to safeguard our land they need something they need something till they are drinking water they need something till they are drinking water you people know what i'm saying and we don't say things or we don't call it uh what they call it political correctness we say p things how it is they need guns and bullets they need guns and bullets to protect before because those people that are coming to kill and adopt to stop our mothers and fathers to go to farm keep on adopting and raping our brothers our sisters i mean to say they are coming with gun because if they, they come with only bare hand they cannot do it so our brothers and sisters need corn and bullets and they need food they need water to survive to be able to carry this mission till the end and i'm urging the rich rich people i'm not coming here to call their names they know their names because i'm not here to beg anybody i'm just telling them telling them because when it will come to that worst you see them they will leave that the house they will run and when everything will finish after the rain there will be a sun shining we will use all those their mighty houses we will use it for library we will use it for kindergarten if they did not support if they did not do the needful all these their mansions we will use it for library we will use it for kindergarten that is what we kindergarten we will use it for our 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 our, our children so that they will begin to learn before they will go to to school to normal school primary one we will use it for them we will use the house for Takra and library with all these their golden shares with their, all these a million dollars light with a decoration they have there they should protect their properties now this is the time they can be able to protect by doing what by helping our esn eastern security network esn eastern security network that is what will save them save all these their mansion and properties what they have if they fail all these their mighty car we will cut it use it for those bin. we will use it to be carrying all this garbage those bin, packing our those bin them we will use it we convert it to pick up we will convert it to 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 truck that they are carrying all these those bin. we will convert it to them all these their ferrari all these their lambo we will convert it to 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 to, to, to and pepe we will convert it we are telling them that is the reason why they have to do what they have to do now what they have to do join support you don't need to come out we don't need you to come out we don't need you to show your face so we they we they tell you just make sure you keep the record because later we will ask you people that record is that place you will, you will free yourself you will free yourself when we will say oh ah, yes you walk oh on your end by well, 1,000 talks. On your end, by 1,000 heroes. On your head, 2,000 AK-47, 5 million AK-47. All you hope and you never. We double double magazine. You know, you know, go see the 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 receipt with the the, the transaction. You know, go see everything. Make sense because if you fail, believe me, you can never escape it. We are not here to beg anybody. We are warning you people. It's warning. And then if you can receive sense, you receive sense at the same time. Thank you, my people. Let me call some name. Santos, you are welcome to the program. Kano Kim, you are welcome to the program. Uh, Kingsley Kim, you are welcome to the program. I want some of my people to write something so I can, I can call their names. So we will call it a day because I think I'm here more than one hour. I thank you, my people, for listening. I thank you all for sharing. I want you to write a comment so I will call your name because it's not easy for you to be here listening to me. Um, some people may say that we are talking garbage. Thank you, Chuku. Chuku Emeka, you are welcome to the program. Thank you, my brother. 
Frank Atiku, you are welcome to the program. You're always here. I love this guy. Uh, Kingsman Eze, you are welcome to the program. Shibuzo Peter, you are welcome to the program. Thank you as you are welcoming. Share it, please, so that it will get your Frank. You are welcome, Udo Drege. Chukuma, Udo Drege, one Nemo. Chuku Emeka, Udo Drege. Dr. Emeka, Udo Drege. Udo Udo BC, Udo Drege Rock, you are welcome. Kingsley Kim, you are here always. Divine New Down, you are welcome to the program. Shiman, Shi Manto, you are welcome. Kingsley Judo, you are Max, you are here. I saw you are here. Uh, Greek Mike, thank you, my brother. Shioma, you are welcome to the program. Dr. Emeka, it's it's done. You are welcome to Sunday. She, you are welcome. She bears Udo Delege, Emeka Godwin, Udo Delege. Kingsley Kim, as Mudo de Lono Mon Nemo, Chukuo Kikabia Magoziono, Ebo Abo no no no, Ebo Nye Bikon Abashi, A Chukuo Kikabia Matamono, Gosipe no no, Ono Bondine Genti, Oneka, Oneka Shi, Udo Drego Collins, Udo Drego Machineke, Michael, Udo Drege Frank, Udo Drego Machineke, Lebeshi, Udo Drege, Peter Ozo Chuku, Udo Drege, I love you all, my Obina, Udo Delege, Ojos, Udo Delege, Shimeto, Udo Delege, Chukudi, Udo Delege, Wanne Mwoke, Chukwo Kikabi Ama Aba Unu Ume, Dube Panono Shebono, Noboda Yabo Budo Biafra Ena, Yo Chukwo Kikabi Ama Elohim, A God that created everything and nobody created him. This is the man that we served. This is a man that we pray to. And this is the man that promised our leader that no ye na ibia fo. Nwe wure ga no hera we na ase. Udo di roni ndu aye ma ze nam de kan. Chukwu o ki ka bi ama tamo no gba ayu me me dune ku ya ma she bia. Maka na ye nwa na ndi ro na ata nka. Aye ma na ndi ro si e go e bo bu na ha si ni ru fast na so fast na akuku ni fast na akuku akebe na acho ne ha ga igbu ma na ina yo chukwu o kika bi ama onye ndu ma zin na mbe ka na onye ra anyi o ye bi o ye du ba ya o ye du bi ya chukwu o kike ye mekwa ni odi ndu chukwu o kike ye mekwa ni ihe ni na aye tara afufu onye obu na na emi ye mura kwa mura na okwa no fuk inwo tabanya kanya na ne aji we nwo ofi inwo tabanya ko ne kwesiri ibu eze afaruku ji we bro ne no na mba ufesi ihe ni na bi ha ikpese edi na ama na eti pe no onye ndu anyi na ekpere ka chukwu okika bi ama we nwi ki nyi obi ndaju ko we nwi ki di na eko maka no nwuru onye oja abu ala agbagia nwa na agbu na esi oku ana ma like iku otu i ede then is you are welcome to the program Chibos of Peter, you're welcome to the program. So, in now, one of them, a bob no, 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 Onye bo dat na. Onwa di ihe ne na 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 soya. Onwa di ihe di ihe di no wana amagasi ya. Makana, obu no otundi nko ozo si uwe epia. Unwa epia na position ha. Ma narari ya kazuri ye. Ana pa wunde ba anye. Ma na chuku o kike ebi ya mne me guro na anye. Obu no unwa onye ewe potra ngori ke. Inye ya somti no osegi ni acho he ya. Inye ni be no wa osegi ni acho he ya. O kwa ni ya mene aiji we won to kwa si obi. O kwa ni ya abi ya na kasi mo obi. Na yi mwuro ono onye de kwa dem mada ni ima ane. Ando dem mada e mega ane shenji ya yendo yibo na kwa transformation. O transform go a lot of people. Chenji ya ha. Ime mwa ha. Chenji ya ha obi ha. Ka ha ga re ebu ndi ne eri ya kazo. Ka ha ga re ebu ndi ne eri ya kazo. La konu juwe kwe si ne bere mazen nam de ke bere. Ka chuku dozi ya ya. Kachuku debia. Kabia fro ona chukwa nko obata. Kobia. Kaya wazukwe nike. Na woka abogu kwa numbo. Oya kana abogalizi. 
Oi hono cho wo ka this man bo ga ligidi ho na bo ga li ka bia fa ga le ga oi hono cho o ya na e pere e pere ana e besi le e beli ke ko dem do fo bia fa zukwe ni ke ko ga izu izu na izu izu ike na nka o ka de young god the vibrant ko mo ku ike izu ike na this otu osi we approach chukwo ki ka bia ma na ma yo mo o li sabi ni igwe na o nyo ku ya bo e o ku o ku sigo no ye kele ni gbe no wa ke ihe ni ne di ni mia ke ma mado chuku o ki ta bi amo onye mela ji we din to no boss in ke ta ta nye pa no ndi bo ndi na ye no dume go juku ha de na ndi no suru ogo ka ba iwe nwe ki bi amo iwe nye ha ta te kikere mu sha ha ai ji we spe no ba no boss in ke ta ta we bi do ko e be ha kusa we na si da na bia fa ye na cho Oh ya da no bosin kai. O bro gai no. Na ya ha ba bo mbo. Ma na ya na asu no kai no zini mia na ya afisia. Ai da na bia fra bre. O no obu na no na bia fra e gabi fe. Ando gai ne kuno age bere fe. O no obu na ya no. Ma kana o nwuro ndo di no obuda ha na ozu. O nwo ho ku nwo kali ro obudo Nigeria no bosin keta. Ma kana ya ko ku nwo in 5 years obido rebe rebe amu ana agu na ezi oku nwe si unu udo di ro na umu chineke nwe si unu umu biafra ni ne ebo obu na unu no kita abolo ototo unu ya aboro ototo oma kita aboro efifi unu ya aboro efifi oma kita aboro abani unu ya aboro abani oma unu ya na ala unu udo na eteta na udo ti ro obu da ye biafra abia na am de ka na udo de rege chuku ba agu ne gozi ego mo ngi no zinu no go ndi fara afo maka na rap fofa ye gbo nyo muna nwe na asi chuku gozi ego chuku ba wu me wera pa nso ya kushi ege ndi ro si ni izu ni ro e no ha na azu ha no e na azu e no ego ni ro otu aki ye si na agbola fa fa ya afo e kwa e mo na ha chuku okika bi ama ise ise ise